Lesson 45. God is the mind with which I think. Hi there. Today, we face another of those mind blowing truths that this journey with a Course in Miracles generously offers us. Will we embrace it, or will we meet it with resistance? Let's find that out together with Lesson 45. God is the mind with which I think. Here's the premise. What we think we think is not really what we are thinking in truth. Surprised? We have real thoughts somewhere in our mind, yet they are simply not what we believe them to be. Yesterday, we worked with the idea that the light we see with our physical eyes is not the same as the spiritual light discussed in this course. This spiritual light, which resides within us, is what truly enables us to gain vision. Lesson 44 God is the light in which I see. In a sense, we've learned that what we think we see is not true vision at all. And in some way, we were already familiar with the notion that what we perceive as reality is not actually real, otherwise, we wouldn't entertain the idea that this world we see is merely an illusion. Similarly, today we discover that our thoughts, the ones we're typically aware of, are not our real thoughts. The good news is that we do have real thoughts, and these real thoughts are the ones we share with God. We think with the mind of God. The thoughts we think with the mind of God never leave our mind, because thoughts do not leave their source. Therefore, your thoughts are in the mind of God, as you are. They are in your mind as well, where He is. As you are part of His mind, so are your thoughts part of His mind. So. Where are our real thoughts? Today, we will attempt to reach them. We will delve deep into our mind, for that is where they reside. They must still be there, because they cannot have left their source. These are the thoughts we thought with God when we were one with Him, or in other words, when we are in that realm beyond time and space where we are one with God. What is thought by the mind of God is eternal, it is a part of creation. God is the mind with which I think. Our three five-minute practice periods today will closely resemble those from yesterday. We will strive to leave behind what is unreal and seek what is real. We will deny the world and choose the truth instead. Let's not let the thoughts of the world hold us back, nor should we succumb to beliefs that cast doubt on the possibility of our efforts. Instead, Let's acknowledge that only what God would have us do is possible. And what God wants for us aligns with our true desires. Consequently, we cannot fail in fulfilling what God would have us do. With this understanding, we can confidently engage in our practice today, assured that our success aligns with the will of God. We cannot fail to succeed today. It is the will of God. Let's start our exercises by closing our eyes and repeating the idea to ourselves. God is the mind with which I think. God is the mind with which I think. God is the mind with which I think. Next, let's take a moment to contemplate a few relevant thoughts related to today's idea. Four or five thoughts should be enough. After reflecting on these additional thoughts, Let's repeat the main idea once more. God is the mind with which I think. And then, let's gently tell ourselves. My real thoughts are in my mind. I would like to find them. Now, let's try to sink deep into our mind, moving past the unreal thoughts that cover the truth within. And reach to the eternal. Beneath all the senseless thoughts cluttering our mind, lie the thoughts we thought with God in the beginning. These thoughts remain in our mind, completely unchanged. They will always be there, just as they have always been. While everything we have thought since may change, this foundation remains entirely unchanged. It is this foundation we aim to access through these exercises. This is where our mind is one with the mind of God where our thoughts align with His. Let's not perceive this practice as difficult or impossible. Instead, we need only one specific approach, 
to approach it as if it were an altar in heaven, dedicated to God the Father and God the Son. This is the place we are trying to reach. We may not fully grasp the heights we're striving to reach, but we can still sense the importance of our endeavor. This is an exercise in holiness, an attempt to reach the kingdom of heaven. God is the mind with which I think. In our shorter practice periods today, let's keep in mind the significance of our goal, to realize the holiness of the mind that thinks with God. Throughout the day, whenever possible, let's take a moment or two to briefly repeat. God is the mind with which I think. Let's momentarily set aside any thoughts that are unworthy of God and make an effort to recognize the holiness of our mind. Stand aside, however briefly, from all thoughts that are unworthy of Him whose host you are. And thank Him for the thoughts He is thinking with you. Wow! It's truly awe-inspiring, isn't it? We find ourselves navigating two worlds, and our experiences shift dramatically based on which one we're aligned with at any moment. In one world things seems one way, in the other world we have a totally different perception of what is true. What, then? Is the truth? Which world constitutes the ultimate reality? And which reality is truly worth living? Deep down we recognize that it's the one our heart knows to be true. Yet, we've grown so accustomed to conforming to the reality prescribed to us, that it requires some effort to realign with our authentic truth. Should you feel in need of a little encouragement, just hold on to this thought. You're doing great! and see you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. Quick reminder, if you haven't yet watched the introduction to this video series, be sure to do so, as it lays the foundation for our journey together. Just click on the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, we have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel, there's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.